Here we introduce how to convert an existing MPLAB 8 project to MPLAB X. We will convert the Microchip Application Library's TCP IP demo application from MPLAB 8 to MPLAB X. Then we will summarize general conversion techniques and advanced tips for project conversion to MPLAB X. Open an existing MPLAB 8 project. First, the checkbox to set the configuration bits and code is set. If the configuration bits are not defined in the main source code, add the code to embed them. Select Locate Headers in the toolbar. This will build your code and show your header files that are not in the project window. Select Check All to add all the missing files and then add files to add them to the project tree. Note how the project tree grew in the project window. Next, open MPLAB X and select the new project toolbar icon. Select existing MPLAB ID version 8 project. Click Next. Now browse to the MPLAB 8 project. In this case, it is a TCP IP demo app from the Microchip Application Libraries. The device family doesn't need to change for this example, and we are not using a debug header. Select the debug tool you are using. Select the appropriate language tool or compiler. The keep option leaves the source files in their current location. They will not be copied into the .x project directory that gets created in MPLAB X. Also, if you modify the source files through MPLAB 8, the changes will be present in MPLAB X. The copy option copies the MPLAB 8 source files to the .x project directory. For this example, we will select keep, though copy would work as well. The directory that has just been selected is the actual output .x directory which contains the project location. The project name field will make a directory below the project location, which contains the project files. The summary shown describes the selections chosen, as well as notices that may be relevant to your application. Click Finish. Now we have a complete project shown in the project window of MPLAB X. The source files are present. Click the toolbar option with a hammer and a broom symbol to clean and build the new MPLAB X project. The clean succeeded and the build is successful. Now that we have completed converting a project, here are the general steps that most projects will need completed prior to conversion to MPLAB X. First, Add all .h and .include files to the project window. Second, embed the configuration words into the code. Last, make sure the project builds in MPLAB 8. If the project doesn't build in MPLAB 8, it is not going to build in MPLAB X. Now, for some more advanced tips. Any files to be included in the MPLAB X project must go into the project tree of MPLAB 8. This includes any pound included C or assembly files, documents included with the MPLAB 8 project, and custom linker scripts. If you receive build errors from the make utility regarding the path name being too long, it is required to shorten the MPLAB X project path. Simply convert the project again with a shorter destination path. This is especially relevant to the microchip application libraries since the project paths are already long. Windows is not case sensitive, so if you ignore case sensitivity in your MPLAB 8 project in Windows, this is not an issue. However, to convert a project with header.h to MPLAB X on Linux, the header file will not be found. Linux migration may require case modification for include paths. Linux also uses forward slashes to separate objects on its file system for both absolute paths and relative paths. Hence, MPLAB 8 projects that use backslash for included files must be changed to forward slash. Fortunately, forward slashes will also work on Windows, so this is the preferred method of referencing files.
If you forget to include the header files or if you make a mistake converting the project, this is no problem. Simply delete the .x directory that you created through Windows Explorer and try again. Thank you for taking the time to learn to convert your project to MPLAB-X.